Hi, I'm David Tubb. We're here today to talk about one of our new products called a Duo Firing Pin Spring. And Duo obviously means two. Uh, and to kind of cover a couple of quickies is a normal firing pin spring in a Remington 700. And that's what this is for, basically. Remington 700 or Winchesters, we make, we make this Duo spring for each one of those. But a normal firing pin spring in a Remington 700 is made out of music wire. And honestly, uh, the reason that they do that is because it's cheap to make. The springs that we provide at Superior Shooting Systems uh, this, for this particular product, a firing pin spring, are made out of chrome silicon. And chrome silicon is the same material that the valve springs in your motor are made out of. So these things are able to handle millions of rounds of cycles. So consequently, when we say duo spring, we have two springs. One is wound clockwise and one is wound counterclockwise. And in a normal firing pin, there's a single spring wound one direction. And of course that would be emulated by this. So these two springs actually do the same thing except one removes the radial biasing associated with the firing pin fault. In other words, it eliminates the torque on the bolt. If you ever closed the bolt action, snapped it, and watched the bolt jump, well, those specific vibrational nodes from snapping a firing pin travel through the barrel. In, in a steel barrel, they travel at about 20,000 feet a second. So that vibrational node cycles itself all the way to the end of the barrel well before the bullet exits the barrel. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little demonstration. We have a little fixture on this milling machine and we're going to put a single spring in and what I'd like you to notice is there is a little silver cut or a little silver mark all the way up and down the body of this spring. Right, our body of this firing pin. Of course, we cut the tip of it off and so on and so forth. This is a shaft, basically. But <clears throat> what we want you to see is how this torques or twists from the spring imparting radial bias into it. So the first one we'll do, obviously, is this single piece spring. We'll slide it on in this little fixture. And, of course, you've got to keep in mind that... that uh, This spring is under load in a firing pin. We're probably going to make a little bit bigger stroke with it than it normally occurs because in a firing pin, it, in, a, in a bolt, it falls about a quarter of an inch, the firing pin does, quarter to three-tenths of an inch. We may stroke it a little bit more, but what I'm trying to do is get the idea across to you that if you look at this little silver mark, you're going to see each time I go up and down with the stroke of this ram on this mill machine, this firing pin is going to torque. And so what you're going to see is you're going to see the torquing of the pin and the radial biasing, and that is associated with the single piece spring. When we turn around and we put the duo springs on, that disappears. So here we go, we're gonna go down, and then here's up, and you see, did you see it move? And I'll go down again, and up again, you see it moving around? Try one more, all right? See it moving, it moved all three turns. And if we turn, turn back around and we put our duo springs on, and by the way, the duo spring comes with a little spacer and it goes between the two springs. And this further helps erode any tendencies for radial bias. Okay? All right, so I have that one kind of lined up. You see the silver mark, you see the spacer, and you've got a spring that's turned counterclockwise on the bottom and a spring that was made clockwise on the top. And watch the little silver mark that transverses down the pin as we cycle it up and down and you're going to see that the firing pin has zero radial bias. Okay. So consequently if we impart that then into a firing pin system it looks like this. Here's a standard Remington pin with the single wound directional coil and then here is 
the this is actually the speed lock system the superior shooting makes so it's a it's this is actually a an aluminum 70 series aluminum with a stainless steel tip on the front uh, and so we're going to take both of these and we're going to put them in the back of the same uh, Remington 700 bolt action rifle and we're going to snap them two or three times and I want you to look for the bolt jiggle. The whole idea is is we're doing we're so we're going in and we're putting a, a, a hand lap stainless steel barrel on a gun. We're using a true a true tried and true action. Uh, we're using a great let's say we're using a T7 T two stage trigger, uh, and we've bedded the rifle and we have a great scope and we're using great components. And so why would we not go ahead and upgrade our firing pin spring simply because this firing pin spring, by the way, being out of chrome silicon never needs to be replaced okay this spring if you take it out it's an inch shorter than when we put it in whether it's sat in the corner or not being made out of music wire in Remington 700 this spring will never lose a single coil more than a single coil of free link ever in its entire life this spring is not an extra power spring one of these is rated at 24 pounds one of these is starts its life at 24 pounds the deal is if this sits in the corner for a year or two it's 17 pounds or less. This spring will never vary for more than about 24 pounds. Mm -hmm. So it's designed like it was supposed to, even though it's a stress spring. And you think it makes a big difference? It, it's a huge difference. It's like, what's the difference between running your car on three quarts of oil or five? Mm -hmm. Your car will run on three quarts of oil, but why not keep it topped off with five quarts of oil? That's a good analogy. So we're going to move over to the barreled action. We're going to install these two, and we'll do a little demo on the bowl jiggle. So here we are. Here's our Remington 700 action. Here's our bolt, and obviously it's a works just great in here. Uh, we're going to first install the factory firing pin setup. We're going to use a little tool that makes it very simple to do. It's called a Klein Dorse bolt tool. We're going to spin that on. And then what I want you to watch for when I do this is I'm going to close this bolt. And I want you to watch the bolt jump or jiggle when I snap the trigger. And I'll do it two or three times, and you'll see it'll jump. And that's that vibrational node that makes itself all the way to the end of the barrel. A little bit of a jump. A little bit of a jump. Not a lot, but a little bit. Shoot another one here. That was a good jump. Good job. All right, now we're going to replace the factory firing pin spring. Factory firing pin. And it's the spring that's making the difference. It's not the firing pin. Watch, now we're going to put, and by the way, this is what the system looks like. Here's your counterclockwise spring, your clockwise spring, here's your spacer. Made out of chrome silicon. Lasts forever. Forever's a long time. Last your lifetime. I like that one better. Now, when you watch the bolt jiggle associated with this, it's nothing. Okay? It doesn't move. Alright? Dot moving. So, in essence, what we've done here is we've taken and we've done one more accuracy modification that lasts the life of the firearm and will improve not only the accuracy of this gun by removing vibrational nodes, it will also Im improve the reliability simply because this particular firing pin spring that is in this bolt will not take a set to any degree like a music wire spring. So consequently, Look for this at davidtub.com. You can buy just the springs with the spacer for long or short Remington 700s and Model 70s, or you can buy the complete firing pin assembly in long or short action for Remingtons. And of course, the long or short assembly comes with a bolt shroud, and it comes assembled just like this.
Also look, while you're there, go look at a T7T trigger. We have a T7T trigger on this particular action. And it's, in my opinion, the finest two-stage trigger for Remington 700 that's ever been made. It's designed to clear debris. It's designed to function with being frozen. It, it's adjustable like a suit of clothes. If you want a, a heavier first stage or lighter first stage, how you want it to break, where you want the trigger shoe, it's designed to fit you like a, a, a fitted suit, basically, as opposed to whatever they give you.